did you feel reassured prior to, say, Fred Wilson's post from them that they would never compete directly with you, sort of based on direct statements from well, the Well, we, we have always assumed, mm -hmm. Facebook has been integrated in, in Sysmic for a year. Yeah. We acquired Ping FM that supports 40 plus networks and yeah. services. And we launched yesterday our platform yeah. in which Twitter okay. is a All great stuff, and we'll, we can link to all this. Yeah, but you the question I know you was think those are features. No, no, I'm just saying let's get to the meat yeah. of this, which is did you feel as though they would never compete with you based on statements? I always to? expected they would. We, we've been always competing yeah. with Twitter.com. Yeah. Sysmic Web had a 40% growth in March. Yeah. Again, but did they tell you that they would never get into the, the sort of direct No, but game? they didn't tell yeah. us either they would. Because remember the, 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 the uh, form spring, right? Two weeks before all this went down, you said directly, they will never compete with us. It would be stupid for them to compete with us. That was my statement. Right, but now you're saying you would assume they would compete with you all along. So I'm just like, what? where's the reality? Like, I understand that the needs of your business say that you need to maintain a relationship with Twitter, but if you look at John Borthwick at Betaworks, who has a number of investments, he's sort of coming directly after Twitter and saying, it's unreasonable right now because Twitter, the rules aren't, aren't sort of specified. Developers don't know what rules they're playing under. He's telling, I, I, I sense a no bullshit approach in what he's saying. Mm. And With you sense you, a total bullshit approach I do. in what I say. Because every two days, it's a different story from you. They're never going to compete. Oh, they are competing. Oh, everything's fine. I've, I've always been competing. Uh, okay. What with Twitter.com, they were. We, I have been competing with Twitter.com <coughs> since the very beginning. Okay, fair enough. Right, they have not yeah. said they wouldn't do that. Yeah. And I was expecting us to always be multi-social networks and only Twitter. Why did you? So think why, they why, why do you see? Why did you think two weeks before Fred Wilson said you were and others were hole fillers? Why did you think they wouldn't compete with you on Android and other platforms? So that's a much more interesting question. It's the one I keep asking. I honestly, that's I then I, know, yeah. it's my French. I, uh, now I got it. I understand. It's um, difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> they basically, I assume that because I really thought Twitter has something unique around themselves mm -hmm. in terms of number of developers and in terms of the money flooding into a space. Churn is one, and you know. Yeah. And also, Twitter always talked about being the pipes, right? Being the sort of infrastructure. That's right. Yeah. And if you think about it, it's like uh, I think it would have been extraordinary to be able to make everyone win by, by not doing what they did. Yeah. Right. They still did it, but I think it's. This is the reason, going back to your question, why I assumed they wouldn't do it in terms of having their own clients, because I thought they, there was another way, yeah. which would have been to make us all win, to not pick a winner like Tweety, and I also told them that. Yeah. And they changed direction. I, I, you know, that's, that's pretty clear. So why did I assume it? Just because I, think, I thought they would win and they would not compete with 70% of their traffic. I was wrong. I said it, which is why I don't understand why you always keep coming back to that. Because I've been pretty consistent in saying, yes, I said it. Yes, I was wrong. 